Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact reaction. It's been about a month, but a lot of people wanted me to listen to Children of Echoes. This is another Natlin song that apparently doesn't have an official upload yet, so I'll be listening to the one that was linked, and I've loved everything about Natlin so far, so I can only imagine that this is going to be more banger waiting to happen, so I guess without further ado, let's go! That blend. <laughs> I was vibing with the uh, intro just being traditional, but I suppose you gotta spice it up a little bit. Nothing more vibey than a rhythmic flute solo, you know? Mm. A little extra spice on the top. Ooh. Loved that movement. I don't know what was happening on the screen there. <laughs> Not that it's relevant. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. What's happening here? Oh, it's like an entirely different track. Oh. Are these all the same theme then? Just like different parts of the city maybe? Hey. Ooh. Mm. That same type of blend, though. Oh, God. I'm so into this area's music. <laughs> this region has such a good cultural impact. Since between the ears there. I love that. <laughs> I forget the name of that instrument, but it's like this like ribbed thing that you basically just sweep a stick against. It's so cool. I love that they put that stuff in. Doing it again. Ooh. This one gonna be a little bit more island. Ooh, oh, remix. God, I love that. <laughs> Can't get the stank face off me. Ooh. 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 
God, the layers of percussion on this. So nuts. Whoop, vocals. Ooh. More than the samples we've gotten before. there more that's it okay wow jesus christ all the different sounds in that these are some amazing tracks i am assuming because there's no real clarification that these are just variant themes that can either play at different times of day or during different situations but all within the same like city that they happen in uh that totally makes sense you want to keep things a little bit fresh and vary it up a little instead of playing the exact same thing every single time especially in an open world setting things can get pretty dry returning to the same place as multiple times so keeping it fresh like this very good idea but also man what bops dude that i loved everything about these the inspiration on each one of them the flavor on each of them they all had that like remix feel to them as well and you're keeping all that alive by not getting rid of the original traditional instruments and vocalizations in there love that blend i loved it in the original symphony i reacted to but man this is so clean i love that this is just a random ost for like what i assume to be a random city there's just so much heart and soul going into this the love and care that's being put into this region is fantastically impressive i cannot get over how nice it is to hear something really embrace this sound from these parts of the world then you really don't get too many other places and too many other games and the respect i have for the composers really leaning into that and just going full in is absolutely immense i cannot get over this region i don't know if i ever will it just sounds so creative so fresh and fun the biggest part that i'm loving about these is of course that inspiration being carried through and evolved into those remixes and the fact that a lot of these inspirations are taken from african tribal music and then they're being brought forward and adapted to hip-hop which of course the african scene here in america has definitely contributed to i would argue to say that they're the ones that made it happen so it's just an amazing way to pull those inspirations bring them through generationally so it's just really neat still that they're paying so close attention to these inspirational roots that they're not only using the original inspirational roots but also the what it became as time went on that's also a thing a lot of modern pop musicians are adapting as well they're trying to find ways to blend inspiration from these older styles of music and bringing in those roots a little bit more to make it a little bit more fresh and inviting as well as bringing in that nostalgia for those who remember and love those original original genres and I just love this sound. I absolutely adore world music as a whole. So that being used in a respectful manner is an absolute gift in my opinion and yet again the composers, the new ones for Genshin, still showing that just because Yu Peng Chen went away does not mean that the music is going to go away either. They are holding their ground so tight and with Natlin I have no problems holding my trust in these new composers. They are doing fantastic and I cannot wait to hear more and more, especially from Natlin. I know this region is going to be my absolute favorite for quite a while, unless they somehow end up topping it with the next region, whatever that may be. But I guess that'll be about it. So thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you have a request of something I haven't listened to, be it from Genshin or anything else, leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to get to it. And otherwise, if you just enjoyed this video and you want to follow me and support me for more in the future, you know how to do all that. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!